the current situation apparently is a human to animal to human transmission chain, as has been observed before with, for example, mink. Not too often, but it has been observed. So the uh, plausible scenario is that uh, the hamsters coming from Europe, the Netherlands, were infected there in the Netherlands by humans, presumably came here uh, either infected or during incubation time, much like humans uh, incubated uh, the disease, uh, transmitted the disease amongst or the virus amongst themselves and then infected the humans. It's a direct consequence of uh, the zero COVID uh, policy that is has been adopted in, in Hong Kong and, and will continue to be in effect. You cannot allow uh, any virus to come in. So um, sadly, yes, uh, it. I think in order to maintain zero COVID, there was little room for an alternative uh, to the culling. It's very important to stress that the risk of contracting COVID-19 from your pet is uh, as close to zero as you can get. I think this would be logistically impossible. Uh, you know, you would need to house these animals uh, individually. That means 2,000 cages. I mean, it's just not doable. The risk of you, you human contracting um, the disease from your pet is very close to zero. So I would not be worried in the least. I think uh, human to human transmission is still by far number one. Keep calm. Uh, Take care of your animals, don't abandon them. Thanks for watching Bloomberg Quick Take Now. Subscribe to our channel to see the biggest stories the moment they happen from around the world. And tune in to our 24-7 live stream for global news coverage, interviews, deep dives, shows, and documentaries on the stories you care about most.